it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout. I'm just going to play. I have no idea what I'm going to do or even if I want to finish this layout today. I just grabbed um, the June Click Kit and I had a little bit of things left as far as paper. I barely have any embellishments though. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I don't even know if this is the July or the August to tell you the truth. But it doesn't matter. I'm just going to grab the embellishments from that and um, play with that with the rest of this, with this papers, with these papers. So, and we'll get a layout done. I just, I still like some of the pattern papers and I didn't want to not use them up. So, we're going to get started. I love that corrugated paper and I love that pattern here. I don't think I'm going to be using any of that. I think I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be using a little bit of this and maybe a little bit of that side. And then the best time for new beginnings is now. And I thought that'd be perfect if I, um, this is a picture I printed months ago, two, three months ago when they uh, started making the, the framing and stuff. I did find one little embellishment and then I can maybe use, I don't know, the family grow because the house is growing. Not really, but you know what I mean. And then the little strip of hearts and the corrugated paper. And then I just got some white cardstock from my stash. Now, um, I don't know if it'll probably be up by the time this is up because it's taking me forever um, to put up the videos. Um, and this is why I'm doing them in real time because there's less editing. I don't have time to do any voiceovers. We're still, I can say, in the middle of packing. Um, but it's getting there. Uh, so I bought these from the Hip Kit Club. And they're Prima watercolors. So I haven't used them yet. So I'm probably going to try and use them with this. I've packed up all my other um, mixed media stuff. So I'll try to use that. I still have my clear gesso though and I'll use some of that on here and I kept a little bottle of white gesso also just so that I could if I needed to um, use that so I'm going to be chatting a little bit uh, about what's been going on while I'm doing this layout today's September 5th I just uploaded a video last night that I had recorded on like I think it was August 27th and um <clears throat> yeah, it's, it seems to be taking me a long time to get videos uploaded for some reason. It's just taking me a while. So I really love that background, but I love that too. And I only have one of each of this. So, I'm going to make sure I get the most of them. You know what? I think I'm going to cut these pictures in two. I know I kept my trimmer. Nothing is where it was. It's not going to sound as echoey. I, I listened to a little bit of the video that I uploaded last night. And man, what is it? Was it ever echoey? And it's because my room was empty empty and now what we've done is uh, a lot of the boxes we're packing because my room the way it's made right now it's kind of like a square but then it has like kind of an L and then there's a walk-in closet here in the L while well, we've packed up boxes right up to that door so now I just have the the square here so uh, and even that the boxes are starting to come into my to my little box and that's fine um we just needed somewhere to put those boxes because man a lot of boxes so what this is this is the front of our new house and that's where the garage is and that's the main part and this is whoops this is the back uh the front just looks like a Cape Cod and then in the back we made it so it's a walkout basement 
So it's like got two stories, or it looks like two stories in the back. So I want to do a page of its beginning. I mean, now the roof is on, the windows are in, the siding is in. The only thing that's missing is they got to do the stone here. Uh, the doors are in, the garage doors in. Um, all the doors on the insides are in. Uh, they're doing the painting this week. And then by the end of the week or early next week, they're going to start on the floors. And once the floors are done, then they're putting in the cupboards. And then the week after, we're moving in. So by September 23rd, that weekend, we should be moved in. Yay. Or moving stuff in. And then... Okay, so it's been like over a day. Um, yesterday or the day before I just started and then my husband called out and said you know lunch was ready or something and then I went and then I guess it was yesterday Oof, just feels like it was forever ago um, I went and had breakfast or lunch whatever it was and then I was like oh I think I need a nap before I go work all night so I didn't get back to it which wasn't my intention. I was intending on finishing this yesterday, but Sle sleeping uh, one. <laughs> so I did my night shift last night. And this is, I guess, quite exciting. We will see how it goes. But starting October 20th, I'm going to go and... I'm still going to work where I am. I'm still going to do the same job. But instead of doing, which in the last year I was doing mostly nights because I was switching with a girl because she um, did mostly, want to do mostly days. So I switched a lot of my days with her, with her nights. But starting October 20th, I'm going to be um, doing all days. For seven months. Um, there's new positions that open. So. I can't wait to see what my body feels like. Not doing night shifts anymore for a while. So I'm hoping that seven months will be enough. That it'll kind of reset my body I guess. Because <laughs> it feels pretty tired right now. So. I'm, I'm anxious to see how that how it goes. Um, I don't like getting up at 4.30 in the morning, but I noticed in the last few months I was doing a little bit more days, and I was less tired at the end of the day than I was at the end of the night. So, so this is going to go on, but it's usually, this is not usually loud. That's the main reason why I got this gun. It's from Ranger, um, the heated craft tool. And... I found whenever I watched Tim Holtz in, in his videos and he would use the gun, I'd be like, oh my, you can't even hear that. While my other one, which is better for um, embossing, I find this is good for mixed media. Um, it, I mean, I, you can emboss with it, but I don't find it gets as hot as the Stampin' Up! one. So it takes a little longer to emboss, but I find for mixed media, it's perfect. It dries um, the paper, you know, the mixed media stuff and what I just put on there is clear gesso and it's because I want to do a little bit of um, water soluble oil pastels that I got from the hip kit I just ordered one kit um, I don't know I I kind of you know I'm a member of the click kit right now but I'm missing the click the hip kit because there is so much stuff there's like a color kit and all this stuff but after I've packed everything I've also noticed that <laughs> I have a lot of stuff that I need to get through so I'm just gonna make a decision once I get in my new scrap room and unpack everything and then I'll make a decision whether or not um, 
I'm going to keep going on a kit or I'm just going to work with my stash for a bit. It's fun to get new stuff too, but I think I might just um, work from my stash for a bit. I don't know, maybe like six months till the summer and then maybe I'll then get a kit or something. We will see. But I think I'm going to email Click Kit today and just tell them that I'm done for um, getting the kits for a bit until I make a decision. Anyway, I'm all over the place here. So anyway, yes, I'm going to be going to all days um, within, well, October 20th is, well, I guess it's going to be the 17th because I'm going to be uh, working my regular day shifts and then I won't be doing my nights that week, which is awesome. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this on white. I could do it behind this. I just don't know if I'm going to cut it down anymore. Maybe I can do it on this. This is pretty trashed, but I can still use it a little bit. Let's see. I just don't know if I want to put this at the top or in the middle. And I'm going to do a little bit of coloring with those water solu soluble oil pastels. But I want to mount this on white. So I'm going to go right in the middle here because I'm pretty sure this is going to be covered. And then I'll just cut around it with the exacto knife and then I'll fix it with my trimmer. I think I want to leave a little bit in between here. So I have a little white space. Oh, look how blue the sky was that day. Oh, we had a beautiful summer. And you know, I know we know fall is coming. You can feel we've been feeling the nip in the air all of August. Um, it was nice during the day, but at night you could just feel that nip. And it was like, no, I'm not ready for summer to be done. It was kind of a I don't know, kind of a double-edged sword, I guess, because, you know, we wanted our house, we want our house to be done, and come on, you know, every day, you just want the, you just want to see the progress and things done, but then you know that summer's slipping away, and you're like, no, I don't want it to, so it's been kind of bittersweet getting, seeing your house being done, and seeing summer slip away, but I have to say, I think I'm, I'm ready for it to be done. They've done really good. Like everybody's so impressed on how fast. They start on June 6th and here we are September 6th. So August 6th, September. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, you can tell I worked a night shift. July 6th, August 6th, September 6th. So that's three months and they're doing the finishing work right now. That's pretty amazing. Like, I thought it was going to take like six months to get our house done. And it's going to take like three and a half months. Because we should be in it um, like September 23rd, which is what, like three weeks from now? Two and a half weeks from now? So, yeah, it's pretty amazing what they can do, I have to say. I might have to put some more of that... Um, clear gesso on top of this but before I do I think what color am I going to maybe I don't know if I want black or if I want blue to outline I think I want to do black <clears throat> so yeah I I have um, next week I have night, sh I, I might have like four, five, six, maybe 12 night shifts left to do before October 20th or 17th. 
and then I won't have to do a night shift for seven months. Yay. So happy. And then I'll go back to my two days, two nights. It's just until uh, somebody's off maternity leave. And then I go, I'm going to go back to a regular rotation. But I think it's going to do the body good. I've been doing night shifts for 10 years. And you know what? It wasn't so bad when I was 40 years old. <laughs> it's feeling bad now. Last night, oh, and two, I've been sleeping all my nights too for, you know, two and a half weeks or over two weeks. So, and I've been going to bed early at nine, at eight o'clock last night. I'm like, okay, this feels like bedtime right now. I just, I didn't know what I was going to do, but anyway, I made it through. But, uh, so yeah, I think it's going to be good that I can give my body some break. <clears throat> Give my body a break. There we go. And I'm going to line or mount this up on that corrugated paper and it's going to give it some different texture. And, and I just love that color too. And I, like I said yesterday, this is the front and the back of our house. And I still hadn't scrapped this. <clears throat> it looks so different now, but I haven't scrapped much this summer so I haven't I haven't um, scrapped a lot of the progress so okay let's see I don't think oh I can that is awesome I can see through it with the light on this so I can tell where it's going to cut which is awesome. I love this trimmer. This is the Caterpillar Crop. And I got it at Simon Says Stamp. I get a lot of my stuff there. And then I had a question the other day what my little cutter was. This one here. This is from Creative Memories. I've had this for about 13 to 15 years. And it still cuts like perfectly and they have a new one now except it's white <clears throat> but it's the same it says it's good for 50,000 cuts before getting dull and like I said I've had mine for 50 years 50 years wow no 15 years 13 to 15 years and it still cuts perfectly I got the new one <clears throat> because I, I was afraid because they went out of business for a while and I was afraid they were going to go out of business again. And I wanted to make sure that I, I had one. Sorry, I just had to take a drink of water. Um, I just wanted to make sure I had a new one because um, I use mine all the time. I'd be lost if I didn't have that. Okay, so we'll put this down. And I think I'm going to put some clear gesso. And I'm just going to use it all. I love the back of it, but it's all good. I've, this is my sixth layout with the June kit. So I think I've done this kit justice. So I'm feeling good about how much I've used this kit up. So I'm not going to worry about, and I love that it's black and white. So even if I put some color on this, it's going to be all good. And this palette knife, I just got it at, um, uh, you can get it at Simon Says Stamp, but they come in a package and then you get a whole bunch that you don't like. I went to a, it's, it's not a, it's like a, artist shop ooh, artist shop and they specialize in like paints and stuff like that and uh, they had these for a dollar a piece so I bought like six because <laughs> so I just love them and at Simon Says Stamp you had to pay like five dollars yes you get five of them or six dollars or something like that but this is my favorite because it tips like this so and I just clean it in between in between every time I use it and it's pretty awesome. 
So I just put some on top of the paper because I think I'm going to do this stuff in between those two layers because if it was in the in the back I wouldn't be able to see it so and I love this and you know what I could take some of these and color in some of these words so they pop off the page let me see which one I could special memories I'll do that one because I know that this is going to be just like this let me see Oh, I love, love the details, but maybe I'll just do these three up here in three different colors and then maybe start coloring some of these down here. So I'm just using my heat tool again. I'm just going to dry this up. There. Now, um, for my new scrap, just to talk about something else while this is drying, for my new scrap room, I did order some stuff from Ike Ikea. We don't have an Ikea close to here. In about a year, we're going to have one three hours away. I am so psyched. It's going to be in Halifax, and um, which is three hours away from where I live. Um, and But I didn't want to wait a whole year, so I just ordered it from... Montreal, which is like nine hours, ten hours from here. So it's not feasible to drive there. It would cost me more in gas than it did for shipping. So it was just cheaper to ship. So I did that and I ordered the Alex drawers and a whole bunch of stuff for my craft room. So it, the order came in and I just kind of set it aside. We didn't build them yet. We're just going to wait till I'm in my new scrap room. And we went and bought the material. I'm just going to build my desk in Melamine. And I'll make sure to do like a video to show you. But I'm going to do my desk in same as I did here with Melamine. And we're going to build up uh, the bottom so I can have a standing desk. Now here we built it with Melamine. But for my new room we bought pieces of wood which I'm going to paint in white. Um, so I got to do that soon so that it's ready. Um, so I'll share that. Hmm. Um, oh, these are. I'm gonna have to kind of use them on a separate piece of paper because I have no idea what they look like. And all oh, this. This sheet is pretty much trashed. Okay, so that's not what I was looking for. What about this? Let me get a water pen. Pretty sure I had one handy. What did I do with it? I don't have a lot of stuff left sort of out and about. Ooh, look how close that coordinates. Beautiful. So we'll use that. And then what other color? We'll start with that. And then we'll go from there. Now I'm going to use some packaging, I think. I haven't done that in a while. I can find some. There we go. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this. And I'm going to keep my sprayer out. There. So let's see where the photos are going to go. Oops. I guess it doesn't matter. And then this too, because that's going to take up a lot of space. Maybe I want to do it over that. Hmm. I'll just do it like here, I guess. Um, I want to be able to see it. I don't want to do all that, all that work and you don't even see it. 
I don't want to do much. I just want to do a little bit. And then uh, you don't need a lot of this. Holy moly. It's um, very pigmented, which is good. Let me see. I'm going to do some splatters. There you go. So I'm doing about a page a week right now, which is not very much. I usually, well, last year I did over, I think I did over 240 pages. And this year, not counting my classes, which in my classes I did, you know, probably 30 pages altogether, 40 pages. Plus I did, I think I'm up, this will be 65 or something maybe on YouTube. And um, so it's still like close to 100, but we're September. That would mean I would have to do like 140 pages between now and it's not going to happen. I don't even think I'm going to do my my goal on YouTube, which was 150. But you know what? I had a lot on my plate this year, so I'll be easy on myself <laughs> and just say whatever I get done, I get done and um, feel good about it. So now I'm just going to... I want another color, but I don't know what yet. And I think I'll wait until I choose some of my embellishments which is kind of backwards for me um i usually pick pattern papers embellishments and then my photos and it always works and i always get my pages done in you know very quickly but to tell you the truth uh like i said i worked last night and just don't feel like packing right now <laughs> And I have to pack. Sorry, I have to take another drink of water. I have to pack, but I'll I'll do it tonight. I just I don't know. I just need it to just kind of feel normal right now. Oh yeah, I want to color some of those in. Um, okay, so I'll use blue for one of them for sure yeah so I decided you know what I'm gonna scrapbook Ooh, it's too wet I'm gonna scrapbook right now and then oh ah fixed I want to scrapbook and then I'll pack tonight we don't have much left to do so as long as I do a little bit every day the biggest part is done. My scrap room is done, 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 done. Except for the stuff I'm using uh, for scrapping. Because I want to scrap till, till I move out. Not much, but I don't want to put everything away. The day before we move, the night before we move, I'll just bring a box and I'll put everything in a box. And then I'll put unpack right away because I know... This is the stuff that I use, you know, my trimmer and all the stuff that I use the most, like the glues and that I use and, and all that stuff. So and I'll unpa unpack that right away. And then my husband is, while I unpack, he's going to build my desk right off the bat. And then I can hit the ground running because even if my whole room is not unpacked, I'm going to just make it so I unpack like a box or two a day and then I'll scrap and worry about unpacking. And I've, I've been really good at marking um, exactly what's in each box. So as I'm needing something I can just we're gonna separate everything because we're putting everything in the basement and we're gonna separate everything and then I'll say okay everything for my craft room is here so if I know I need something that's close to that pink um, I'll I'll go get it 
and unpack that box that day. There you go. We're going to set up the stuff to, so I can do Google Hangout to before Christmas, like I'm not, sometime before Christmas. There. I don't want to put too much water because it makes a huge mess. That's what I like about these water pens is you can control the water and even sometimes they kind of spew out a bunch of water but you just dab it on a paper towel and it soaks it up and see like right now and then it kind of tones it down again. So this is just called red, but I'm not using a lot of it, so it looks kind of pinkish. And the other one was called cobalt green. And I haven't seen these like at Simon Says Stamp or something like that. Because I would have, no, I probably would have still ordered because I wanted to support um, Claudia. Van R. I don't know what her last name is. I, I've seen it, but I don't know how to say it. And she started doing her own collections, like digital collections. And then Hip Kit Kim um, featured her in August. And so she had some die cuts printed from Pretty Little Studio. And I wanted to, to support her. And so I went and got the hit kit that she was featured in now let's see once I'm in the new place too I plan on getting a printer like right now I have a printer for my photos and stuff like that but I don't have a good printer and then I can maybe get some because she does her collections digitally digitally <laughs> And then I can uh, purchase her collections and print them off. And that's the great thing about being digital. It's that you can print them off over and over and over. You know, as many times as you want to use it. So, so this one here is called light blue. I'll just do light blue here. Oof, it is hot today and I know I can't put a fan on when I'm doing um, real time because whew, you wouldn't be able to hear me but man alive it's hot I might have to pause and and um, just put the fan on for a bit to cool it down but not going to complain because winter's coming. I'm so sad. But we're going to be in a new house, so I think it's going to feel different. We're in a like really old house right now, so the winters are are hard. They're it's cold. So with the new house, I'm thinking, yay. Now there's a few little hearts on here. Oh, none of the other ones are showing. Oh, right here. So I just want to color in, color in a little bit of the hearts. I don't know if you can hear my cat. Well, not my cat, but my daughter's cat. But anyway, he's snoring. Snoring. If you saw the layout that I did about him, Scruffy, he follows me everywhere. So, of course, I'm in my scrap room, so he's laying down by my feet. Three more weeks, and I won't have a cat anymore. 
I told my daughter I'm not taking him in the new house. <laughs> we took him from her temporarily three and a half years ago, or over three years anyway, close to three and a half years ago. So I, like I told her, I think, I think I did my, you know, I think we did good. <laughs> <laughs> you need to come you need to take him back we have two dogs so I just I just don't want that many pets I'm too old to vacuum the hair <laughs> too old and she won't let us shave him because he's a long hair cat. And it's like, okay, but I'm the one that has to clean that hair. Not fair. <laughs> so now that she's, you know, talk, getting him back, she's like, well, maybe I could shave him because I don't want. I was like, really? Because <laughs> I've been wanting to do that. I know they're ugly, but when they're shaved, but. Too much work. There. Just want to put a little bit more color. So I got the three pinkish here. And then I'll just put some of the embellishments. And I might, I'm scared to use kind of especially that red. I don't know if there's a pink. That's like a red too. That's orange. There's no pink. Magenta, but I bet you that's really who unless I toned it down with the white. And I could do some pinkish. Um Ooh. Don't push too hard. I'm going to take this. It broke off. So I'm just going to take it and put it in the box. I'm not wasting that. Because it's awesome. Yeah, that works. That works. Just going to put a little bit of color. Maybe flicker some dots just a little bit of color a little bit of pink not too much I might add a little bit more after a little bit more after but for now it'll be good Let's see if I can rejuvenate that it dried up. Yes, sir. There you go. Just to put some in three places. Okay. Now, let's glue this down. Let's figure out some embellishments. <clears throat> Oops. There we go. Uh, let me see. I was thinking of maybe putting that row of hearts in the middle to kind of separate the top and the bottom. I don't want to push it down because I don't know how big this is. Oof. Big. Oh, I made this. I made the... this quite big. I don't know if I'll be able to put that in there. I don't think so. kind of liked it to separate. Let me see. Maybe I can cut this down a little bit. I just, I want to be able to see the texture of this corrugated paper. It's pretty awesome. 
but I can cut it down a little bit. And then I might cut that card down too. There we go. If I cut just a little bit, it's it'll still have the flowers that peek through. And let's see how that goes. Well, today, when actually when I got home, I um, of course all night I was like, oh, so tired I could cry. I wanted to sleep so bad, and then I have to wake myself up because I have a twenty-minute drive. The last thing you want to do is fall asleep. So by the time I get home, I'm like wide awake. And then, so I have to get myself tired again. <laughs> so I read. <clears throat> and then when I woke up, I read until I couldn't anymore. The book was getting really good. Sort of at a cliffhanger. And I was like, what? And I have to go to sleep. But as soon as I got up, I just, it, I only had like half an hour left and I finished the book. So today I finished book number 50. Okay, this is a girl that last year I read one book all year. One book. That was it. And this year I'm up to 50, which is pretty stinking amazing. So that felt pretty good today, finishing that. So when I started my Goodreads goal, it was, um, I put it at 12 and now I'm at 65. I'm just putting some pink and some white again. I'm going to try and color some of these flowers uh, on this card. Yeah, so, and then about, I don't know, a month and a half ago, I brought it up. I brought it up to 40, and then I brought it up to 50, I think. And I brought it up to um, 65, and I'm going to leave it there. And... Um, So now I have 15 books to read to finish my Goodreads goal. Like I said, I feel pretty good because last year, one book. I think next year, I was thinking about bringing up my goal to 100, but I think that's, that's a bit much. I started reading this year on February 18th or something, so almost two months in, but still, that's still like 35 35 books more. So I'll probably put it at 75 or 80. Maybe 80 would be a good amount. And try to read that next year. I, I tried something too. I, I just um, tried the Kindle Unlimited for a month. It's $9.99 a month, but the first 30 days is free. And I just wanted to check and see, you know, like, are the books any good? And I've already read two books. I've only subscribed like three days ago and I've read two books. And one of the reason I want to subscribe is because Sarah Swan here on YouTube, she also has a book too. It's called Sarah's Nightstand. So check her out. And um, she suggested this book. It's called Everything We Keep by Carrie. Carrie Lonsdale, I think it is. But anyway, it's everything we keep. And um, when I went to to go look for it, it was like $7. And then I saw that it was on Kindle Unlimited. So I'm like, hey, I can get that free for a month. So I read that. And then I read another book, which was, that was the one I finished this morning. And oh my goodness, I'm usually really good at kind of predicting how things are going to go had no idea it was called my girl by jack london i think it was from it wasn't a very long book it was like 240 pages i guess it's kind of average i'm just used to reading long books they're all like five or six hundred pages so to read a small book like that was like what I got through it like in no time at all. Another thing I'm trying to do is 
finish a bunch of series that I started. So I just picked three flowers and just kind of made a triangle within the card using the three colors that I had used on the background. There. So, yeah. Um, I started 15 series this year. And as of yesterday or the day before, I'm done nine. So what I'm concentrating on right now is trying to finish up uh, a few of the series before the year is done. I know at the end of the month, like the, the week I'm moving into my house, so I don't think I'll be able to participate. But it's called Slay That Series. So what I'll probably do is that week, I'll just, whatever books I'm reading, I'm going to try and make it so that it's part of a series, which... I'm kind of doing anyway. Um, I think the next book I'm going to read, actually I already started, I got like 20 pages done. Um, the only reason I considered maybe stopping and starting another one is the book that I just read was so heavy. My girl, oh my goodness, I felt like my heart was going to explode. It was so intense. And like I said, I didn't suspect the direction it was going in at all. At all. And um, so I know uh, the next book is from that I want to read is Carol. It's called Hidden Bodies. I guess I didn't even say that. Uh, Hidden Bodies by Carolyn Kepnes. And that's going to be a heavy one too. That guy is a psycho. So I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to read that right now, but it's part of a series and <clears throat> I know it's going to be heavy, but I want to finish it for sure. So let me see. I don't, I think I'm going to have this one come off the page and just cut it off and see. If I don't like it, I can cut it away. I can cut it away, but I can't glue it back. So I'm going to do this first. Cut it off and then see if I like it. And if I don't, then I will, then I can cut it off. So this is just a Project Life card. Again, I'm just kind of doing a grid within within a box. The last time was kind of on a vertical. This time it's more like contained in a square. There we go. I like that. And then I'm going to start looking for embellishments. I haven't even started. That's crazy. I find pay I, I keep saying that, but then when I look at how long it took me to do a page, it's about the same time. It just feels longer, I guess, for me, for some reason, if I don't choose my embellishments first. It just feels like it takes forever. Mm, I might put the title right down here. I don't know. I'm just going to say um, dreams do come true because it has been a long, long time coming, long, long time coming. We've had this picture of a house, uh, like a plan, and we just, because they say if you want your dreams to come true, right, is to print it off and visualize it. So I had, we had a picture of the house that we wanted for at least, at least over 10 years. So it's not as if we, it's, we've been preparing for a long time. Um, so 
it feels sort of surreal because we've been waiting for it for so long, but at the same time, we've been, you know, working hard for it for a long time too, so we've been living in an old house for a long, long time. Dreams, and then, oh, I think there was a small alpha in the teal. Whoops. Where is that? Where is my container? Hmm. There it is. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Sure, I didn't take it out. Let me check. Whew. I think what I'll do is I'll stop the recording while I check and I'll turn the fan on and uh, try to cool off this room. Okay, so I found these. these. These were the ones that I was looking for, but I think they're too small. So I might go still with these, the sticky keys from October afternoon. This is a package that Denise Parcells, I think that's how you say her last name, sent to me a few months ago, like before, before yeah, before January. <laughs> so last year. And uh, look at all the stuff. And it was so much more than this. And so I think I'm going to go through this and see what's in here instead of using what is um, what is in the next kit or the kit after. I think I'm going to try and use this. So there was stamp sets in there and there was letter stickers and letters and embellishments and there's some stuff that I took out of here too um, and already used them so ton of stuff so if Denise if you're watching this thank you so much that was awesome and I have been using the stuff and I'm going to use it even more See, I think I'm going to use this what matters most that was in the kit and maybe I can try to bring in those hearts somewhere else. I don't know. But I love this hope. Because it kind of goes with the, I guess the theme of, and I love these little buttons. We coordinate. Now let's see where I could do a cluster. Uh, okay, did I pack away? No. Yay. Okay. So this is the EK Success Powder Tool. And it takes away the stickiness of stickers and then you can move them around on your page. They are awesome. So I think I'm going to do a cluster right here. I'm going to find, maybe I can use some of this. I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to try to do a cluster up here, I think. And a cluster here. It's kind of cream and the rest is white. That's the thing with October afternoon, the like stickers are cream, but for now, I'm not going to worry about that. Let's just see. See, I've used some of this stuff. Uh, ooh. No, that's more of a mint. Oh, and somebody else asked me what color did I decide on my craft room. It's like a minty color. That's the color I decided. Turquoise mint. A little, not as deep as turquoise, so it's more like a mint. And look, mason jars for mason. Um, okay, so... Maybe put that up there and put a smaller button down here. 
Maybe I can put the smaller button up here and the bigger one down here because it has more weight, but it's so big. Maybe I can put it in the middle. I think it'll look good in the middle. I can maybe put a little bit of hearts up here and I don't have a lot left so I kind of have to try to manage it a little bit and save it and spread it. There you go. And so I got three buttons. I don't have a label for here. Let's see if I can find a little label that color or close to it. It doesn't have to be. It's nice if you can match it perfectly, but I think that's one of the things we need to let go. <laughs> we need to let that go. It still looks awesome, even if it's not, you know, exactly perfect. It's still awesome. This is a little bit more, that's more green. There's no green on here. I think I'd rather have this one maybe. It's from the same collection, the same sticker sheet sticker sheet. Just gonna put baby powder on half or part of it and put the rest away. There we go. And another thing I kept is this bow bunny. Island mist. It's to make some dots, so I'll probably use that. And now I'm so all over the place. So now let's finish the title. Dreams do come true. Just want to make sure I had room for that little cluster here. So let's let's glue this down. Let's glue this down. go that and that yeah I haven't I haven't watched any TV like hardly any except for Big Brother Big Brother I'm pretty much like caught up I didn't watch last night's we'll watch it tonight but that's the only thing I'm behind on everything else I've been so that's what I took away um, in order to be able to read that and watching YouTube videos I haven't watched very many I'm gonna have to catch up but I just wanted to read so much I haven't read in so long years and years and years and years and I can tell you when I um, read I was talking to my husband about that the different types of book, I guess, or I guess they call it genre of books, was so limited. Or maybe I was just, because YouTube wasn't here, you didn't hear about them so much. But it seems to me that young adult wasn't as prominent. And that is one of my favorites. I, I, I have to say, though, I, I like, I just like reading. So it really doesn't matter which kind. I just noticed my door is open. So I'm going to go and shut the door because you'll probably hear my son. He's playing games with his friends. This is the last day. Um, he's in grade 12 this year. My baby is graduating. Oh my gosh, I remember when my first one was graduating. Where has time gone? Like really? Oh. Anyway, he's um, in grade 12, so they didn't start school today. They only start tomorrow because it was only the grade nines today. And uh, so it's his last day of school or vacation. Unbelievable. 
it just feels like we just went on vacation and it, that was at the beginning of summer that we went um, to the White Mountains, which was awesome, which I haven't scrapped any, any, hardly anything from our vacation. Now, because I used um, some clear gesso, these are not going to stick. So I'm just putting some quick dry adhesive down on that. And it's going to stay that way. I guess I should have made sure of that's, you know, where, that's where I wanted my tile. But I guess that's where I want my tile. Because this stuff sticks down. Okay, so now I can finish this. I guess that didn't take me long at all to get these embellishments done, which is awesome. I just love piling on the embellishments. So this is not like a ton of embellishments. I might, but everything is all packed up. Like all my die cuts, everything except for what I've shown you, that's the only thing that is not packed up. So I'm kind of limited. So I guess I'm just going to do with what I have, right? Which is fine. Oh, I have enamel dots though. Maybe I can find some heart ones. Where are all my heart ones? Oh no. I have blue ones like these and they're not there. Oh yes they are. Duh. Okay, so I'm gonna use these hearts, I think. These ones here. They kind of match that pattern paper too. So um What size? Oh my goodness, I'm doing this and I still can't stop thinking about that book. I just finished it just before I came to do this page. Ah, like I said, I usually can predict books and that one, not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. I was like, what? <laughs> but it's pretty gruesome. Okay. I think now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do my title because this is gonna be wet. And then I'm gonna put my hand in it and I'm gonna make a mess and then I'm gonna be upset. There we go. Just gonna do this for now and see if I like it or if I wanna put them one on top of the other. I don't know where my wax paper is too. I didn't think I packed that, but I don't know where it is. It's probably in behind a box somewhere. I'm gonna have to look for it because I do miss it. <laughs> there we go. Dreams do come true. I love that alpha. Man. It's from Millie and June Fancy Pants. It's like puffy stickers. Love them. Well, that's pretty cool. I could probably push it over just a little bit so it's a little bit more centered. And then I can move these over a little bit because it's kind of squished to the dreams. Let's move it over a little bit like this way. See if I had the wax paper, it would just be. Come on. Okay, I think.
think I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's not my favorite, but I've already glued this down. Let me see, unless I do... Like this. And everything is with here. Yeah, I think I like that better. And then it looks like the little speech bubble is from is for this. There you go. I like that. Okay. So I'm going to glue this down. I think I'm going to have to glue. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to use some glue on these two. So I'm anxious. I go see the house every night. I'm anxious to go see today because they've started the painting. So, yay. And it's supposed to be by the end of this week, they're supposed to start the floors. So I hope so. Hope so, hope so. I've, um was able to switch some shifts. People are so cool at work with stuff like that. The first two people I asked, you know, I told them what it was for and they were like, yep, let's do it. So I was able to switch and then that way, the week that we're supposed to, the week that we're moving, I have the entire week off. So I have from, I finished the 22nd, I uh, switched to off like four days instead of two days, two nights. And then I'm off from the 22nd at 6.30 at night until the 1st of October at night. So, yay. So hopefully I can get quite a bit done. The main house, I know I'm not gonna get my scrap room done. Not gonna happen. Cause I wanna organize as I'm unpacking, so. That's gonna take me months, I think. I just don't want to unpack everything and just throw everything in a drawer. I want to organize it, so. Label, you know, if it's stamp sets, I wanna put them. I got quite a bit of them in those Avery L pockets, but I have quite a few that aren't. And all the dies, the, the dies too, like the yeah, dies. I want to put them in pockets like that too and label them and and same thing with the die cuts. I want to divide them by color, I think. You know, if it's a new collection, I'll keep it with the collection and then as I do a few layouts, then I'll divide them by color. So I'm going to use this. It just came. I think it's because it's so hot. Could it be? It's never done this before. Usually it's really thick. Sorry for yelling. <laughs> just kind of made a mess there, but I'm okay with that. That's okay. So yay. So that's done. What else could I do? Oh, I know. I kept this one one um, twine out. It's probably my most used twine. Yeah, I can start, I can, I can see the bottom of that roll. I've used it so much. And then I had some that was close to this color in a collection, like all different colors. And I've used all of that up. And then Janet misses, um, K J K. Um, it's Janet anyway here on YouTube, and um, she sent me a package of, and that's pretty much all gone of that teal, and then I bought this because I saw it at Simon Says Stamp. It's a We Are Memory Keeper, and this is getting low. I'm loving this color. 
Whew, I'm glad the page is almost done because I am dying. It's so hot. I'll just put that there. I used to do this all the time on my layouts, the loop-de-loops. Another thing that I did too was the twirl and I would um, glue it down. I haven't done that in a while too. It's funny how you go through some stuff that you do all the time and then you switch and you do something else. And I guess it's good because it makes that your pages are um, different. Okay, come on. I'm just going to put that right there, I think. It covers the hearts a little bit, but it's okay. It's all good. So again, I'm just using this glue, my favorite glue. My fine line bottle isn't working. I think it's because I was too long in between not using them, not using it. So it's clogged. So I'm going to try and unclog it once I'm in the new house because I'm too long in between right now. It's just going to clog up again. So I think that's it. I'd like to find some, but see a lot of my sprays are put away too. <laughs> I put a lot of my sprays away, so I don't know if I have any teal spray out. I don't think so. So it'll just have to be like this, I believe. So that's it. I'm gonna call it done and just be happy that I have another page done for my scrapbook. So thank you so much for watching.